Weather Authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. It is 1218. The past couple of weeks, we've seen some big storms down in the deep south and a lot of tornadoes down there as well, including yesterday. Check this out. Look at that twister right there. Now, this is down in South Georgia. In fact, this tornado was caught on video spinning near the town of Leslie, Georgia yesterday. Stayed on the ground for some time as it moved across fields and roads. Luckily, no buildings we're in the path of this storm. And another tornado touching down in Pembroke, Georgia. Check this out. Uh, sadly, at least one person was killed and nine others injured uh, from this twister here. The National Weather Service is assessing the damage today. We'll see uh, just how much damage was. And of course, they'll give the rating of that tornado on the EF scale, the Enhanced Fujita scale. Now, here's another thing, speaking of tornadoes. Last week, we had our storms. And of course, we were talking about uh, that EF1 tornado in White County. Well, the Weather Service did some further surveying with drones, and they found out yesterday that we actually did have a tornado in Vanderburg County. Northwest Vanderburg County was on the ground for less than a mile, but it was an EF1 tornado, and then an EF0 tornado south of Fairfield in Wayne County. So two additional tornadoes. That was on the stormy night we had last week. Uh, now we've got a less stormy day, but the wind is out there. It's pretty fierce. That's our Ellis Park camera, of course, looking at the twin bridges. Southbound, northbound bridges. Looks like the traffic is moving nicely. There's the bend in the Ohio. More clouds stacking up in the sky after a sunny start. It was the first dry morning that we've had this week. Uh, but unfortunately, the afternoon doesn't look as good. Where yesterday and the day before, we had some really good looking afternoons. Not as much today with more clouds and the chance for a little bit of rain out there, but it's not going to be a lot. It's going to be light rain. Uh, the camera rocking in downtown Owensboro, too. Our roof claim camera on top of the Hampton Inn. You can see a partly cloudy sky, a little bit of sunshine off in the distance there. A uh, few more clouds, though, in the sky over the east side of Evansville. That's our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union camera there at Deaconess Gateway. 53 degrees for temperature right now. We were at 52, so we're kind of inching our way up from here. And with more clouds stacking up, we're going to have more clouds and sunshine from here on out. Yeah, I don't expect to see that temperature rise a whole lot more. I'm going to call it 55. Check out the wind sustained at 20 miles an hour. Temperatures across the board, you can see we've got 48 up in Flora, so it is a little chillier up there. In fact, all along U.S. 50, a little chillier. 49 in Ligoti, 48 French Lake. Uh, we've got 51 in Vincennes, 56 in Madisonville. We're seeing more sunshine down to the south, and we'll have it for a little bit longer. So those temperatures could get up to around 60 there. I think most of us, though, mid-50s along the river, if not low 50s up to the north. Wind speed-wise, look at that. 20 here in Evansville, 24 sustained in Henderson. Very windy conditions out there. Uh, 23 Carmine, 20 in Vincennes. Now, you really don't factor in, you know, the wind as far as a wind chill once it gets over 50 degrees. But in areas where it's not 50, look at that, wind chill of 42 right now in Flora. Oh, here's a good one. Three, two, one. Funky. Today's funky fruit, toe fungus strawberry. <laughs> there are the toes. And look at that, a little bit of toe fungus right there. Maybe that's toe jam. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Carl Henderson, thank you so much for that. That's definitely a funky strawberry. There's no doubt about that. Anyway, we've got a little bit of rain up along US 50. Let's go ahead and put this into motion. That's live first warning Doppler radar. And let's zoom in a little bit so we can get a better view of this, too. Got a few moderate pockets, very small pockets up to the north of Olney, but most of this is light rain. And look at the clouds starting to track in, too, uh, from the west and northwest. So we're seeing more clouds in play. We've got that in Evansville right now. Got a few breaks, and especially down to the south, we're seeing a few more breaks in the clouds. But, yeah, more clouds and sunshine for most of us from here on out today. All rotating around that area of low pressure, which is up to the north of us. And you see those rain showers upstate. Most of the rain will stay north, but we've got a chance for a few scattered showers out there. Severe threat that was along the east coast. Uh, today, and you can see that. Look at that. I mean, the size of this area of low pressure rotating around, tapping into that Gulf moisture and the Atlantic moisture. Look at all that rain that's up in the New England corridor, uh, the Northeast corridor, anyway. So we take a look at Future Tracker. You can see a few showers. I think it's overplaying the rain a little bit, uh, and I think it's underplaying the clouds a little bit. I think we'll see a few more clouds in that, but we'll have some breaks out there. But still, a few spotty showers, and then we see a taper off a little bit heading into evening, only to have a few more showers later on tonight. And check this out. As we head into our Friday, that's right, a little rain-snow mix is possible. And at times, we could be seeing just snow showers. It's not going to amount to anything. The temperature is going to be above freezing, not by much. Uh, but at the same time, it's going to transition back over to rain by midday. And then throughout the afternoon, just a chilly rain, even though, again, we could see a few flakes of snow tomorrow morning. High tomorrow is only going to be in the mid-40s. Today, though, we're in the mid-50s, so a little bit warmer out there. At least I'm calling it 55 here in Evansville. More clouds on the docket as we head into the afternoon. A few showers. The wind is going to be pretty fierce, though, at 50. To 25. On the three degree guarantee, I called for a high yesterday of 60 degrees, got up to 60. Bingo, that's on the no. Yeah, let's hear it. All right, Nicholas Smith of Evansville. Congratulations, Nicholas. You got yourself 
A sock cap. We'll be giving away umbrellas once they come in. Well, actually, once we run out of sock caps, we still have a few sock caps left. We're going to need a sock cap over the next couple of days, but wait until next week, by the way. Pam's on vacation this week. 46 tomorrow, get a little rain snow mix in the morning, but mainly rain and light rain at that. 48 and dry on Saturday, but a little breezy. 62 on Sunday. Joe, with sunshine, that's the better of the two days over the weekend. What else is new there about Sunday? <laughs> Seriously. The morning low, though, is going to be 32 on Sunday, Joe, so we might see a little frost out there. Well, bring on the accumulating snow. Let's take it. <laughs> Just, <laughs> kidding. Will not be accumulating. Just kidding. <laughs> well, it'll be falling, but not accumulating. That's exactly right. All right, our pet of the day coming up right after this break.